Hi friends, in this previous video we have discussed uh, what does it mean by ant colony optimization and uh, how what is the behavior of ants and what uh, how the ants are behaving that means uh, how the ants are living in uh, ant colonies so all these things we have already discussed in the previous video now let us uh, see the real life problem that is traveling salesman problem and how this problem will be optimized by using ant colony optimization algorithm so as we know traveling salesman problem means we have the different uh, salesman of course the for example one salesman has to travel to four to five cities and uh, in, in how best way he can reach the those four to five cities that is what the main problem is and that distance we need to optimize okay how to reach you uh, maybe he he has to go from first to first city to second city or first city to fifth city uh, to make it uh, optimized the distance should be optimized okay so let us see uh, first let me write the algorithm and let let us slowly understand what are the various steps involved in it so the first the first step is simply best to equal to nil yeah the first step is best to equal to nil so this is some problem programmatic trick thing so it is there is, we should not use capital letters here yeah this is nil and the second point is just repeat this step and the third point is let me let us first write all these things and we will see later uh, randomly place m ants randomly place m ants on n cities and the next point is in each ant constructs a tour constructs a tour in a in a, a greedy stochastic manner greedy stochastic manner and the step is each ant deposits each ant deposits pheromone pheromone only on its only on its tour edges tour edges that's all almost all so until some uh, termination criteria written the best yeah update update to the sixth one is update to update best to and the seventh one is until until yes until uh, some criteria some termination criteria we need to follow the same steps and written the written best to best to that's all so that's all so this is the simple concept uh, let us uh, keenly observe this and let us discuss all these points in a step by step manner so what exactly happens here here 
we have to take m ants and n cities so let me take m ants maybe uh, i have i have taken 3 ants only for example and uh, we have n cities maybe 5 cities we have these are 3 ants and 5 cities yeah this is city 1 okay. let me write it as city 1 uh, city 2 is here city 3 is here and city 4 is here directly after that yeah fifth city is there this is fifth city now i have three ants so the three ants maybe the first ant may go in this way mm. yes the first ant may start from first city to second city and second city to fourth city and fourth to third and third to first and back to one for example yeah this is my ant one this is my traveling of ant one this is my uh, traveling so this is tour edge so i have already reached tour edge means it may be fifth city okay up, let me take up to fifth city or once we have covered all cities and back to first city let me take it as back to first city only now second ant is also moving from first city to fourth city to third city maybe to second city and then to fifth city maybe back to first city this is the root of second ant for example and the third ant is The third ant may be uh, starting from first city and uh, reaching fifth, maybe reaching fifth city, then third, fourth, second, and then first. For example, this is the traveling of uh, A3. Now, now we need to optimize which one is the best okay how we need to do that simply we need to come here so before going to the, this job is the first time we are giving to the three ants and first time we are selecting the uh, cities for example then we don't know the best tool we don't need the best tool so so what i need to do the best tool should be nil so nil has to be assigned to the best tool so there is no way uh, it is zero now what will happen uh, repeat so we don't we haven't done anything so no need to repeat we need to follow the next step randomly place m ants and n cities yes we have placed three ants on five cities and we will make them to wander so once they have wandered and they have finally reached maybe let me take it as fifth only not an issue once it has reached fifth okay so then it has to tell the same i mean it has to send the pyramid for example uh, how how does it will be it will be like this randomly place each ant constructs a tour in a greedy stochastic manner for example my a1 has been constructed a tour from one city one and city two in city three and city sorry city 1, city 2, city 4, city 3 and city 5 for example this is my uh, tour of A1 similarly tour of A2 is there and tour of A3 is also there so those three are the uh, tours so based on uh, that ant that is the best tour ok now each ant deposits pheromone only on its tour edge so here the tour edge may be, may be the fifth city so once they reach the fifth city they need to call and they need to tell that they have traveled this much of distance okay for example a1 has a1 has reached within 40 kilometers okay and b1 has reached b1 has reached maybe they may spend 42 kilometer and c1 i mean uh, a2 has reached like this and a3 has reached so please see the colors a3 has reached maybe in 38 kilometers only so in this way we need to collect the all the distances covered by the 
individual ends. Once that part is completed, then we need to update the tool. So here we need to, we need to update this tool uh, travel traveled by the C. I mean A3. A3 route is the best route. Okay, A3 route is the best route. Now suddenly if any other things comes and uh, any uh, other modification comes in any of the routes or any of the ants, maybe some extra ant may come. Then what we need to do? We need to go back and repeat these steps. And finally, this, this will be maybe some uh, iterations and finally we need to find the best tool. Once we find the best tool, until some termination criteria, for example, uh, we know that this is the final result. This is the final result up to after that we cannot get any other smaller distance, for example, then that will be the termination criteria. Then what will happen? We will simply return the best tool. That's all. So with this, this ant colony optimization has been finished and has been completed. Okay, so this is the algorithm for ant colony optimization. Okay, and next we will see uh, how the op I mean probability can be obtained. Okay, that will be seen here. Yeah, so coming to ant colony optimization for traveling salesman problem. So here we need to um, get the probability. For example, on a city I, we have on a city i and we need to reach city j um, by kth ant for example so how these things can be obtained then what is the probability of getting this so simply we can write the probability of this is p probability of traveling from city i to city j by the kth ant for the time p is equal to tau of ij of t whole power alpha into eta of ij whole power beta divided by so this is the uh, this is the thing for kth and now we need to get the probability that means we need to sum up all the ants. So simply let me sum the summation of tau ij of t whole power alpha into eta ij whole power beta. That's all. So this is the sum. So we, what, what does it mean? And here we need to take capital H, small h, which belongs to allowed allow k for time t and this can be written only if okay we can't write everything for this and this can be written only if j belong to allowed k of t the city and k is allowed to move to okay so these are the cities and j is the city that should be for example i have 50 for example i have 50 uh, 50 cities to visit uh, but my limit is only 10 cities has been allowed not more than that so what how i can do it? so then if that is within our limit within our allowed cities then only this is the probability if that is not in our cities so what will be the probability obviously zero will be the probability that's all so this is the probability and where now we will discuss what is tau ij of t and tau ij of t is this is tau ij of t is the pheromon on edge ij so this is the pheromon of pheromon of edge ij edge ij and eta ij is the visibility so eta ij of t is the visibility 
visibility so obviously this is inversely proportional to the distance so based on these two things we will finalize the a property of one root for one ant okay so this is the concept of getting the probability so once this part is completed then we need to update the pyramid so how to update the of pyramid let us see this part also so now let us update the pyramid so simply the pyramid is yeah the pyramid deposited on pyramid deposited on edge ij edge ij is so this will be delta tau ij of t comma t plus n so this is the pyramid deposited on edge ij from t is the time and t plus n is the n time so it is the starting time and it is ending time so in between i mean uh, to reach uh, edge ij so k is starting from i city and uh, reaching j city so this is the pyramid so before that there is some pyramid okay now we need to update the pyramid that such that we need to add the this pyramid with the previous pyramid so how to do that so the total pyramid have been updated as so the total pyramid total pyramid is updated as it's very simple concept simply addition of this tau ij of t plus n okay so previously it is tau ij of t now it is tau ij of t plus n that will be equal to there is a delta rho called evaporation rate of evaporation and that will be given to the current pyramid so tau ij of t is the current pyramid now i am updating the i mean previous pyramid tau ij of t is the previous pyramid before commencement of the this journey okay that will be there should be evaporation rate of evaporation also that is 1 minus rho into tau ij of t plus change in pyramid is also there t comma t plus n that's all so with this we can update the pyramid also so with this the ant colony optimization has been completed okay so if you have any doubts you can type in the comment box so in this video we have covered the algorithm and uh, probability and also updation of pyramid okay thank you thank you so much so please like this video and share this video with your friends and family and please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much